Hey guys, what's happening? It's Punk Tropic here with another video, a very informative video today. It's about resealing tanks. Um, I know when a lot of people buy used tanks, even though they're really cheap and they look nice, sometimes they have leaks and sometimes, you know, you don't want to risk it buying them, but uh, there's a solution to that. Um, you could always just reseal the tank. So I'm just going to show you how you could do that. Um, I'm going to show you what materials you're going to need. Um, uh, you're going to need a razor blade with uh, like the holder or whatever you want to call it. You're going to need silicone and a caulking gun. Um, I'm going to show you what kind of silicone you need. There's a specific brand and type that you need. Um, G GE, that company. Silicone One, window and door. I got the clear kind because then I have, you know, clear seams and it'll look better. Um, and this kind, it says it's permanently waterproof flexible shrink and crack proof as you can see right there and that's really good so once i'm done uh resealing this tank i'm never gonna have to do it again because this is gonna last forever um this is the kind you need um i wouldn't risk any other kind this kind is safe for aquariums there's also g silicone 2 don't get that um you're going to uh, put harmful chemicals in your uh, aquarium if you use that. Um, so let's just get uh, started. Oh, also you're gonna need um, uh, tape, uh, either painter's tape or electric tape. Um, I'm using electric tape right here as you can see. Um, so let's start, uh, first with your razor, uh, you're, uh, you should cut off all the silicone in your aquarium. Just go around and just start, uh, scratching at it and be careful not to scratch your tank and cut yourself and just cut off all the excess, uh, excess, um, uh, silicone. Just the ex, uh, exposed one, uh, exposed silicone, sorry. Um, the ones, that, the silicone that's in between the glass, you don't need to touch that at all. Uh, your glass might uh, break apart if you do that. The panes might break apart. So just the exposed. And then once you do that, um, I did that already. Uh, you could probably pull off pe uh, huge pieces and set little by little and look like this. I. I'm resealing this tank because it's used and I don't know if it's um, leak proof so I'm just resealing it just to not risk it um, and plus the old silicone was peeling off and it was green and I didn't really like that color so I just peeled it all off and went with clear so then it's hardly noticeable um, so now, after you've uh, took all that off, um, some people, they actually take the trim off. I couldn't. I tried with a knife and then with the razor, but it wouldn't come off. It was stuck on pretty tight. So I just left it on. It didn't really uh, get in the way. But you, uh, if you're going to do this, and if you can take the trim off, you should. But I don't think it's that much of a problem if you don't. If it's a bigger tank, you might want to do it, though, just in case, because there's more pressure against the glass. Okay, so after it's completely stripped of all the excess uh, silicone, you're going to want to tape your um, corners like I have in this corner right here. You see the two strips of um, electric tape? I use the tape and I taped right on the uh, opposite sides of the corner 
because when I run my silicone, it's gonna fit perfectly in here, and if it's too thick, when I remove the tape, it'll take that off, and it'll be a straight line, and it's gonna look good and clean and neat. And you want a straight, good be uh, bead of um, silicone, so your seams look nice. So, uh, just tape all your corners. I didn't tape my bottom uh, edges. I just taped these edges, not the bottom, because it's going to be covered in substrate. So, no one's going to see it. So, it doesn't matter if I get it messy. But if you want to, then you can if you're doing like a bare bottom tank or whatever. So, let's get to the siliconing or the resealing. Here, I have the caulking gun, and um, I got this for $2 at Home Depot. This is actually pretty old, so it's a little messy. It's been used before. I got this for $2 at the Home Depot. Um, there's some that go up to like $80 probably, but they're all the same exact thing, so just you could get the cheapest one uh, they all do the same thing so it doesn't matter and then I got this for five dollars and this is um, GE silicone one like I said before make sure you get this exact kind um, tape you know 50 cents probably uh, this I don't know probably you could get for a dollar or everyone has these laying around their house somewhere so um let's I'll show you how to uh prep the silicone and everything. Um so with your caulking gun uh first you're gonna need to open this. Mine's is already open because I, I already used it, but you need to break the tip of the thing of the uh silicone cartridge. Uh, some people use a knife and just slice that tip off um, at an angle. You could also slice it off with this. Um, with your caulking gun, some of them come with a spout cutter. And you put in the hole, and then when you push this trigger, or pull the trigger, uh, there's a blade that comes down. I don't know if you can see that. But there's a blade that comes out, and you, it could just cut off the tip of the cartridge. Um, so that's what I did and just to be safe just go with the smallest hole you can and if that's too small then just you can make it bigger if you start off too big then you can't go back so just start off you know small and then you could uh, you know play around with it to see what's your right size but um, once you do that um, there's also going to be a seal right in the inside so um, most caulking guns have this like poking needle thing underneath that swings out and then you could just put it in there and then break the seal just poke it a couple times and that will do the trick uh, so then you could just you push this and you pull this back so then you could put your cartridge in and you just fit it into there and then Go like that until it's locked into place and you're then ready to start uh, siliconing so I'm gonna silicone that corner the right corner that I showed you guys before um, I'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way up to the top um, as a guideline you want to think of the thickness of a pencil that's um, how thick you want your um, your bead of silicone to be so let me just get this ready and um, also uh, you might want to use gloves when dealing with this because it gets stuck on your hands but you can like peel it off it's just like glue it peels off but I mean if you don't want to get a little messy then you should put gloves on. So I'm starting from the bottom and then just working my way up to the top, going slowly.
and sometimes the the thing gets clogged um once you lay your silicone in uh I still need to put a little bit more It may not be perfect, uh, perfect, but uh, that's why the tape's there. It helps it out. And then you do that to all the corners. And then for finishing touches, you take your finger. You could put on a glove if you want to or not. This isn't going to really damage your hand or anything. And you just smooth it out with your hand like that. Um... I still need to put a little bit more silicone on there. I like that. Um, you gotta work fast when dealing with silicone because it starts to skim and then it's like a little bit harder than it's like, it's not liquid anymore. And then uh, your tape is gonna get stuck underneath it. So you have to work a little bit fast. Okay. 